Hey guys, welcome back. And it's actually been a little while since I've made a video, and I apologize for that. I've just been busy, but I'll be catching you guys up on the tutorial series with a few videos I'll be posting soon. And in this episode, we're going to be covering animations for our character. And one thing before we get into that, I've left something out of episode 2 that I think should have been in it. And that is, when you're making your scene, you're going to notice you have some sprites that overlap, and you're going to want to add layering to them. And how you do this is you click on a sprite, and let's say it's ground, right? So go into Sprite Render, and when it says Sorting Layer, all you'll have is Default. What you want to do is do Add Sorting Layer, click Plus, and name it whatever. I already did Terrain. And basically, what I'll do is come over to anything like the ground, and if I change it to Terrain, then that'll automatically um, render it in front of the default layer. So stuff like the tree which is more of a backdrop, let me just click that, I'm going to leave it on default so it'll render behind the ground and that will add that layering. And on your character, just add, uh, set the sorting layer to the new layer you made and change the order and layer to like 100. And one last thing on the main camera, over here where it says background, uh, go ahead, right now we're not adding a skybox so just change it to solid color. And on the color, you can change it to whatever. I think a kind of like greenish is going to look good with mine. Or well, maybe not, but that's what I'm going to do. And actually, I really don't like that. <laughs> I'm going to just change it to a lighter blue. Okay, that looks fine. And so anyways, now that we've got uh, uh, that out of the way, for animations today, I'm going to need you guys to download another sprite sheet. And all it is is a reverse of the original one. So if you look, they're all facing the other way. And that will allow us to make animations for walking in either direction. And remember, I've changed it to multiple and point. And what you want to do is come over to your sprite sheet, go to sprite editor. And last time I had you cut out a few of them. But what you want to do is go over here to slice. Make sure it says delete existing and say slice. It'll cut them all up. And what we want to do is you come over here. You'll notice that all these sprites right here are a little shorter. You want to drag each one up one pixel. And so it'll be the same height as all the other ones. Click apply. Come over to the new one I'll have you download. And same thing, slice, delete existing, slice. And since it's a reverse of the image, the shorter ones are going to be over here. And once again, just drag them up one pixel. If you zoom in, it helps you to drag one pixel, not like three at a time. Close that, and okay, now we're good. Now what we want to do is come over here, and we're going to click this arrow to maximize it. And on my site, it'll tell you which frames correspond to which animation, but I'll just have the information in the description, and if you follow along, it shouldn't be too hard. And what it says is the walk animation is a cycle of frames 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we come over here, hold down shift, and click each of them, 1 through 4. And drag them in. It'll prompt you to make an animation. Name it human underscore walk underscore. Uh, and what is this? Left. Or whoops, right. And now we're going to want to minimize this and do the exact same thing on this. But since it's a reverse image, it's going to be the last four. So go and select the last four using shift. And just click this and it'll pull up the old one and just change right to left. And go ahead and save it. And it's going to have made two new characters. Go ahead and delete one of them. And you can minimize this and delete both of these controllers. Whoops. Uh, delete. Confirm deletion. And what you want to do is click on this guy over here and go over to window. And you want to do animation. Now bring this thing up. What you want to do is this drop down and say create new clip and we're going to name it human underscore and we're going to do idle underscore right. Save that. What you want to do is come over here where he's facing right and just go ahead and grab the second frame. Drag it in and change the sample to one and hit the unrecord and create new clip. Uh, get idle right and change right to left. Save it and minimize this, open up the other one, and it's going to be the second to last one this time. Drag it in, sample the one, and unclick the record. And now we're almost done. Uh, you can go ahead and delete this character. 
What you want to do is if you look on the site, it says jump is frames 5, 6, 7, 8. So if you come over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, 5, 6, 7, 8. So drag those in, and this is going to be human uh, underscore jump underscore, and this is facing right. So minimize that, and I'll get these, and it's going to be the last. Five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, okay, six, seven, eight. And didn't get that one right there. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. And it's going to be human jump and it's going to be left. Save and come up here, minimize it. And what you're going to want to do is delete all these controllers once again. And delete, delete. And once again, these characters that it made, delete them. Okay, now you're going to want to right click in your assets and do create and do animator controller and just go ahead and name it human. And now you're going to go over here to window and we're going to go to animator and I'll pull this up and drag it off so you can get its own window. Whoops. And what we want to do is make sure you're clicking on the human animator controller so you'll be editing the right one. And open this up and you'll have a few things uh, any state entry and exit so what we want to do is create state empty and it'll be our default state let's make it come over here to the side and we're gonna name it uh, idle right okay so go over here click this little circle and click the assets tab and do human idle right okay now do create state empty rename it idle left and when you're making the name, make sure you hit enter after you type it. Otherwise, I won't save it. Come over here, idle left, new state, uh, walk left, uh, walk left, and we're going to name it walk left. And do this again with the walk right. And you guys probably get the process and get that we're just adding in all the animations. So walk right. And now here's where we're going to make transitions. And this is a little, well it's not complicated but it's a little different. And once we get doing this you'll kind of see why I'm not too big of a fan of Unity's new animation system. But what you want to do is click on idle right and Actually, first we have to go over here to the parameters tab and hit plus and do bool and say is walking. Whoops. Ugh, I can't type. Is walking plus and then a bool and do facing right. Okay, so now what you want to do is click on the idle right, then right click and say make transition and click on idle left. What you're going to want to do is say is walking and since we're transitioning to another idle, walking is going to be false since we're transi transitioning to idle left that means we're not going to be facing right because we're facing left now make a transition back and it's going to be since we're going to an idle it's going to be not walking and since it's going to be facing right facing right is going to be true idle right make a transition to walk left click on it and oh wait first before you do this make sure you go on every single one of these Unclick exit time and trans trans transition duration change it to zero for all of these. Otherwise, we'll have it'll kind of look really choppy with a 2D animation. So, anyways, and we're going from an idle right to a walk left. So that means well, walking is going to be true and facing right is going to be false. And now I'm going to go ahead and pause the video because it's pretty straightforward, right? If you're going to an idle, you're going to change walking to false. And if you're going, depending on the direction, left or right, you're going to change the facing right variable to true or false. And so just make transitions through for all of these, connecting all of it, and make a giant web. And I'm going to pause the video and you can guys can kind of check over where I made the transitions and make them accordingly. Okay, so I'm back. And as you can see, there's kind of a whole web looking thing. And pretty straightforward how the transitions work just make sure you have unclicked has exit time and tra change the transition duration to zero for all of these and so now what we want to do is we're going to be using this any state over here and this is basically just saying no matter what state we're in we're going to want to make a transition if something occurs so 
What we want to do is create state empty and we're going to name it, let's see here, uh, jump right. And come over here, grab this, and we're going to say uh, jump right. And we're going to make another one that is going to be jump left. And we're gonna go over here and do human jump left. And okay, so now what we're gonna do is from any state we're gonna make a transition. And it's gonna be has exit time zero, transition duration to zero. Okay. And what we wanna do is we gotta come over here to parameters and add a new bool. And we're gonna say is jumping. Okay. And so it's gonna go to jump left if is jumping is true. And facing right whoops facing right is false and then from over here make transition and we're gonna make a state and it's gonna say uh, facing right is true and is jumping is true okay and so now what we're gonna want to what we want to do is come over here and make a transition from each of these jump to the whoops I guess we can't do that so make it to the idle right and we're gonna make the transition be if is jumping is false so make transition to idle right again on jump left and all it's gonna be oh wait I forgot to do this you don't want to forget to do this make sure the transition duration uh, to zero and the all that good stuff and on the jump left again just is jumping is false okay and it looks like we have our animator all set up now so now you can go ahead and close this window and go ahead and save your scene and save your project now what we want to do is open up our player move script and in here we're gonna have to change the animator variables according to our um, control script so play the animations correctly now what we want to do is come over here and we're gonna make a new line of code we're gonna say if and it's lagging okay there it is if move.x is greater than zero then what we want to do is we want to say get component and we want to do animator dot set bool and we want to set the bool is walking to true and we want to go ahead and copy this and we want to set is facing right or facing right to true now what you want to do is go ahead and copy all of this and paste it and we're going to change the greater than to less than is walking is still going to be true but facing right is going to be false and what we can actually do over here is we're just going to be changing it in the animator so just get rid of facing right over here and up here, up here I guess and then we got to make one more statement and we're going to say if move.x is equal to zero then we are not walking so we just go up here copy this and change true to false we're not going to change the facing right at all and now what we want to do is up here when we jump we want to say, oh, and for all these, actually, make one more adjustment. We're going to say, and is grounded, and, and, and is grounded. And on this, we're going to say, move, uh, we're going to keep this the same, and then we're going to say, or is grounded is equal to false, and, and is uh, whoops we're gonna come up I don't know just say get component uh, animator dot uh, get bool and we're gonna get the bool is jumping and we're gonna say if that equals false so basically if we're not moving or we're in the air but we're not jumping we're gonna say is walking is false okay so now what we want to do is come up here when we jump we want to say uh, get component and same old same old animator and we're gonna say set bool and it's gonna be the is jumping bool and we want to set it to true 
And now what we want to do is say start quarantine and we're going to start uh, jump anim. Which isn't a, an I enumerator we've made yet, but we're going to make it. And now what we want to come down do is come down here to the bottom. And we're going to say I, it, whoops, I have caps lock on. I enumerator. And we're going to jump anim like we named it up top. And what we want to say is yield return new wait whoops I can't type wait for seconds and if you minimize this and look over here on the human jump you can see the length is 0.333 and actually while we're at it unclick loop time for both of these jump animations but as you can see the time is 0.333 so if we come up here and we say wait for seconds uh, 0 0.3333 whoops 333 and make sure you say F after that to declare that it's a float and then we're gonna say um, get component uh, animator uh, dot set bool and it's gonna be is jumping to false. So after the jump animation has played, it's going to set it to false. Okay, so now all of this looks good, but there will probably probably be at least one error. But let's go ahead and save the script. Control S and let's see if it gives us any errors. So it doesn't give us any errors, but it may end up not working. We'll see. But first what we got to do is come over to our player and say add component. We're going to say animator. And now what you want to do is drag this human animator into the controller and we should be good to go. Uh, go ahead and just save our project. And let's press start and we'll see how this works out. So it seems to be working fine and as you can see we stop and if we press jump, we jump and that looks all mighty fine. So actually everything's working just how we want it. And one last thing I didn't do in the last episode, and it's pretty important, go over here and say fixed angle. And I'll show you what happens if we don't click that. We don't click that and we come over here and we walk over to this part and we walk over the edge, it just flips our whole world. And if we uh, check this, then it won't do that. And it actually, I feel like our player is moving too slow for his walk animation. So what I'm going to actually do here is go up here and change the move speed to something like 3. Okay, that looks a lot better in my opinion. And we can jump. And that looks good. Okay. So, one thing I do want to change is just so we can... Uh, when we're jumping it plays the idle animation but I want it to be when we move the controls it still moves the uh, which direction the idle is facing ah. so just say over here if move dot X is less than zero then we're gonna say uh, and then copy this get component facing right is false and if we're gonna say else if move.x is greater than zero then we're gonna make it true and there's probably uh, some ways to shorten down this code so I may post an updated code after this video because it's a little hard to make the video and think at the same time but so as you can see right now that feels a little more natural I guess you can jump and turn while you're in the air and anyways, that's about it for this video. In the next video, I'll, well, I'll actually have an, another video probably posted tomorrow. And we'll go over some more stuff. And I guess until next time, just like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys.